<laughs> hey everybody, welcome to the Three Way Podcast. I'm your host for the day. The name's JP. And you can find me on Twitter, JP Linkster101. Alright guys, uh, so today's a special podcast. Um, we have, uh, it's, it's almost Halloween, so uh, some of us dressed in costume. Some of us had like adult shit to do. JK. <laughs> Jokes. Anyway, so let's go ahead and present uh, my fellow co-hosts. We have, of course, Kylo Ren. Kylo Ren, yay, is here all the way from Disney to visit us. <laughs> all the way from Disney. Uh, sadly, we don't have no music because it'd be copyright and we get sued. Anyway, moving forward, let's go ahead and get Dororoki chan, Dororoki chan from My Hero Academia. Yay! The girl version. All right, the girl version. And of course, at last, we have uh, Mr. Red, Pokemon Red, Ash Ketchum, Los. Yay! So, oh my God, what's going it's on? It's so high! What's popping? Hold up. What's, what's popping? <laughs> gotta catch them all. Hi. Let's go. Hi, everybody. Happy Monday. What's hey. up, Pika? Oh, and you forgot to introduce me. Oh, and this is Pikachu. Yes. Who's a Pika ho. Anyway, <laughs> sometimes yes. Um, so let's go ahead and get into it. Um, but first off, uh, the, you can find Lowe's at Public Enemy Fifty Nine. You can find Dulce uh, pretty much on everything as a name, Dulce, Dulce girl. girl. Yeah, girl. And then we have JRX Four, of course. Uh, uh, Jeeves Elias. Uh, you can find them on that on Xbox it's and Halloween. also Twitter. Woo! And it's yeah, Halloween, Halloween, guys. All these people. Um, We're coming. You know, make sure your kids are safe. Cause man, it's crazy mm. out there. There's shootings going on. It's <laughs> crazy. Shoot, yeah, yeah. But let's go ahead and hop into it. So it's been a pretty wheezy, busy week. <laughs> and the main thing that came out this Friday, actually on Thursday, but it came out Friday too, uh, was Red Dead Redemption. I want to hear what I want to hear what Kylo Ren has to think about. Oh yeah, yeah. Kylo, what do you think? So, so Red Dead Kylo, <laughs> what do you think about Red Dead Redemption Two? All right. All right. <laughs> and then, <laughs> Moving forward. <laughs> so um, I went ahead and I bought the game on Wednesday at GameStop. Mm-hmm. I, w- I could have picked it up at 9 o'clock on Thursday, but I was watching uh, the Texans versus Yeah, that's Miami. too much to be stand out in yeah. line. No, I could have actually just gone and get it, but I was watching the game and yeah, what a game no. it was. But moving forward, I picked it up on Friday, got home, um, and I started playing it. And the game is really, really good. The story mm-hmm. mode is great. And this is a sequel, so it picks off on an area where it's very... Yeah, no, it's, it's a... a- it's a, it's a prequel. Yeah, it's a prequel. I'm sorry. Prequel. It's a prequel. And uh, in this prequel, it starts off great. Um, it takes a little while to yeah. pick into the action. The first two hours is kind yeah. of like a tutorial. Yeah, kind of it's thing. still in the first hour. <laughs> yeah. I, I, it was, it's way too much of a tutorial. Essentially, nah, they, I mean, they go to this town, it. and in this town, you do certain missions, and it helps you learn the controls, learn certain aspects of the game, um, and, and things you can do. Um I have one bone to pick, but we'll go hard. For, I guess the only I like the game visually, beautiful, amazing, beautiful. yeah, beautiful, amazing. Uh, Story wise, amazing, hands down. Mm-hmm. The mechanics, great, except for one thing. What red eye? He walks so oh goddamn gosh, stupid. Yes. He does. The walking is it's so, so horrible. It's so clunky. It's hard to move. They worked yeah. on everything else except the walking. Like he walks like. And then sometimes you'd be pressing like the left stick, um, especially on Xbox, and then he crouches out of nowhere. Like yes. it's it's the it's X button. Not, the X button is you tap tap tap, and he runs well, faster. Like, but the A button for us, the A button for us, it's X. He's oh yeah, that's oh, right. Cross. That's yeah. right. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, so X X X to run faster or A. And then you hold it to consistently run. The problem is, depending on where, where you're, you're at, at if, if you're in camp, it work. if you're in so camp, it's, it's one you're thing. not gonna run. Yeah. If you're like out and about, you you will run. Oh, so if you can't run in camp. Mm-mm. No, you in camp, even jog. you're, you're, you're like fast. tapping it, and really? he's like, "This is this is the complaint." Yes, this is the complaint if I have. You're trying to get <laughs> get to really? places. Yes, you if you're trying to really? no, because the camp is not really? a small camp. Yeah, the it's camps huge. are big. It's big. They're big. So you have to walk, and sometimes you want to run. And like, you sound so creepy. <laughs> like, and, and I started noticing this walking mechanics at the very beginning. <laughs> That's so creepy. <laughs> I know that is creepy. It sounds so horrible. It's so creepy. So oh, you go into goodness. this cabin right at the very beginning, mm-hmm. and like you start walking around and getting certain oh, items, and the walking around was so horrible. I was getting frustrated. Yeah. It the, they didn't to fix that so okay okay well, other than that, that that's I a felt bad like, thing I, other than that the 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 way you get your weapons the way you keep your your horse uh with the ammunition uh, the way you can lasso these motherfuckers and, and put them on your horse you know what i'm saying like right, everything else i i give it right now unless they fix that i give it oh, look, a it's b jerks. plus it's not Kylo. b plus <laughs> it's dark um i get what you're saying but i think the game intentionally is trying to slow you down because in other games when it comes to traversing mm. you 
they're they're you're trying to move from yeah. point A to point B. Yeah, that's true. And when I think with Red Dead, what they're trying to do is, hey man, appreciate this. Exactly. Like appreciate the details. Man, Take I got a jack of train. I ain't got no time to be <laughs> waiting. I gotta go jack some motherfuckers. I, I need everybody. to go interrogate this motherfucker. I got time to walk around See, and collect. When I play it, I don't really play with an objective. At least the way I've been playing the the early uh, oh, parts I know. of the game. Mm-hmm. We can I'm tell. Just, I'm just kinda <laughs> like I'm just kinda like, let me you know what? Let me let me go over here. Oh shit! What's that? Oh crap! Let me talk to this person. And it's just kind of like very a chill kind of game for me. There's really no rush for me to get from point A to point B. And but I you still like gotta that. walk right. You still gotta walk right. Yeah. I get it. I it mean, because is- Legend of Zelda, it, I, you do that all the time with Legend of Zelda, mm-hmm. especially Breath of the Wild. Mm-hmm. And the walking's fine. The no, running's right. fine. You so you can't you can't give me that that excuse. They they had plenty of time to fix that. That's my only complaint. Yeah, but I th- I think like I said, I think they, it's intentional. Yeah, but, they probably did it on purpose. Yeah. Yeah, yeah I, but I mean, what, what did you like the most about it, Em? It's beautiful, the game. Yeah, the game when is I was, beautiful. When I was the playing, snow, I was like, it looks real. Beautiful. It looks real. It sounds real. It, yeah. The just, crunch when they step looks, on the snow. Yes, it looks like a like a movie sometimes whenever mm-hmm. Lowe's was playing, because I was watching Lowe's play earlier. Oh, yeah, because I was like, whoa, this looks like a movie. Oh, did you try out uh, that cinematic mode a lot? Oh no, God, I don't so like nice. it. Oh, it I love because like when, when you are going from point A to point B and you're following someone, you just uh, hold, hold the... that touchpad and it takes you to cinematic mode. And you just hold X and you keep going on the trail. But now it's in cinematic mode. And it's just like, man, it looks like a... Like, man, honestly, like says, I, try, like the, I kind of hated it because when uh, the wolves were chasing me, I, <laughs> I kind of pressed that button. Oh and I was God. like, fuck, <laughs> fuck, <laughs> no. No, it's not meant for... <laughs> yeah, exactly. But um, the the one thing also I, I, I kind of... I kind of like and I don't like the uh, where you press the R button when you're fighting. Um, what's it called uh, when he goes into that slow mo mode? Um, uh, red, uh, red, red eye. Red eye. Yeah. yeah, when he goes red into eye. red eye, like it doesn't help you like the first game. Like the first game, you would tap exactly where you want to shoot. It doesn't do that. Yeah, it, it this one just it slows it. it. This one just slows it, and then you have a chance to aim very quickly, and you can turn it off, and then you turn it back on, and then you turn it like that's how it works. You turn it on and off, on and off. So I think they made it a little bit harder. Than what they previously did before. Okay. All right. Let's take pictures while we're on the podcast. Yeah. I didn't know we were that boring. But that's why, those are my only two complaints. That's why I give it a B. Boring. Um, game. Uh, but it, the, everything I'm, I'm excited for. I can't wait to spend my 100 hours knocking yeah. that shit out of yeah. the park. I, I could see. I'm excited to see what online has to offer. Yes, oh, yes, 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 yes. I can't next, wait until next, online. Uh, yeah. Next month. Yeah. Yeah. But I really recommend you guys go get go ahead and get Red Dead Redemption. Mm-hmm. It was already voted. Uh, I mean, it was given a 10 out of 10 from yeah. IGN. Um, everyone is giving it rave reviews. Yeah. Like, it's really, and really the, good. And what you're saying is what's uh, people, a lot of reviewers are knocking it down like half a point. Like, I see a lot of 9.5s mm-hmm. exactly for the reason that you're stating. So. Oh, yeah. Because of the it, it, there are some people that are, have a problem with it, and there are some people that don't mind it. I mean, we'll see as the game progresses. I've only done a couple of hours. Mm-hmm. Um, uh, I Right now... I've just been exploring and checking out the controls, seeing mm-hmm. what I can do. I do like the fighting, and I like the fact, like, because it kind of aims for you. I like, know, it has that's a only the gaming thing. Yeah. It just kind of makes it a little You easier. can't take it off, but I, I like it because yeah, I like how, because like, you could be like, feels good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then, like, he'll stop, he'll reload. And I, I love the fact that the way they do it is like, well, it's like GTA, essentially. So, I mean, I was, yeah, I, I really like I, it. I was contemplating, like, should I take that auto aim off or should I? No, but it's so helpful. Yeah, cause, <laughs> it is. Cause, well, I mean, if you run it, if you really want to run through the story, quickly, yeah. It's, well, it's the thing is, you being playing uh, Rainbow Six Siege mm. a lot, you're not used to that. I take that auto aim off, so I'm used. But then Why? the sensitivity is weird mm-hmm. on the. It's slow, like. Well, it's PS4. Oh yeah, it, it, it is. It, it's yeah, slow it's to slow like. When I try to, to aim. Like, aim we it's try just, to do it uh, automatically, and it's well, like. Well, I mean, like, I think every game up. has an adjustment period as a gamer. You, there's, yeah, there's I think I need every, to go in there and yeah. adjust the settings. We we we'll, we'll work on that. Yeah, but yeah, the yeah. game itself, I recommend it. Go get it. Go play it. We'll probably do a review uh, later on, moving forward, mm-hmm. once we finish the game. Um, I'm gonna try to do my best to do a lot around the story because that's what I usually do. I do a lot around the story and I do a lot of side missions. But I, once I get to a certain point, as far as my ammo and guns and stuff like that, I move on to the next. The next. But I, I'm very excited for it. Mm-hmm. And, and it's also, re- like, it's really good yeah. so far. And also something that came out this week, uh, which what which I kind of saw people play. Um, I saw a little bit of clips and I realized how stupid it was. And thank God, uh, I'm not that stupid. Uh, the DLC for Spider Man came out uh, with the uh, Black Cat. Black Cat. Yeah, yeah I've, I've been playing a bit of it. And from what I've seen, nothing special. 
It's, oh, really? I think a few people liked it, it's though. More no, it's more... enjoying... It's just more Spider-Man enjoying. to the story. That's it. There's yeah. nothing... And just new costumes. There's nothing, like... And it's only like what thirty minutes? I think nah. it was. It wasn't that. It wasn't that long. But yeah, it's six. Long, it's yeah. like five, six hours. I'm only like an hour. Because you could do side missions. That's the thing. But if you just do the story, it's like quick. Yeah, no, the story is like five hours. I think because they give you one thing where you have to collect all this other stuff, and that you yeah, have to I know do right the away. collection. I, but I've run through two missions, and I'm an hour in. So and it says I'm like fifteen percent. Because it gives you the percentage for it. I know yeah. you can do it in one day, like if you really want well, to. Well, if you, yeah, if you run five hours straight through it, yeah, yeah you'll finish it, it in a day. It, um, it's not, it, I mean, I guess. Have you played it? Uh, I've seen people play it. Oh. I saw videos on YouTube. I, I don't got the game. I, I mean, I, like I said, I'm only PS4. like an hour in, and it's just more Spider Man. If you liked what you got in the, the base mm-hmm. game, and you liked that story, it kind of, from where you left off, it just kind of continues that. Um, the graphics, though, are amazing. I'll give you yeah, that. Yeah. Um, and it kind of dealt, like, in, in the base game, Black Cat was a side mission, right? She, she was like a yeah. a side mission that you did, and you you go into her lore in that universe a little bit. Yeah. And this one just kind of <clears throat> delves deeper into your relationship with Black Cat, where in the base game, you don't where, actually... Where you're popping that pussy, no, hey, <laughs> Spider-Man popping that I, Black Cat pussy. It kind of seems like... That hour that I'm in, and, and like, and she got pregnant too. Ooh, but it was a lot. I mean, oh, spoiler alert. <laughs> um, is that man? Mm. All right. Um, yeah. Anyways, hey, um, ruin it and stop buying DLCs, man. For real, for um, love of God, man. Anyways, stop um, buying. Them. Can, can you edit that out? Oh, um, pro- yeah. Because no, right. are we doing a spoiler on it? No, we're not. <laughs> um, yeah, you already did a spoiler on Spider Man. Yeah, I can't wait for GTA Six. <laughs> okay. The one thing he um, says. <laughs> so another thing that occurred, which I, I guess Elias and those could give more insight because I mean Xbox has been doing this easily, um, has changed the name. Um, the P- you can change your name now, but there's a risk involved yeah. for PlayStation Four, which I'm not really sure what that risk is. You can possibly lose your trophies and then um, your <laughs> saves and your DLC and in-game currencies. They uh they put out a disclaimer whenever people wow they're, they're doing the beta the beta is rolling out right now yeah yeah and only so, select people that sign up for like early access to those things they so, have that disclaimer right though that you can possibly lose all these but how things. would that be possible I mean Xbox you can change your name and you keep your shit it's all just day. the way that they did it like just it's it's complicated yeah so are you gonna change your name no I like my name you change <laughs> your name Elias no. I like my name. I mean, you I, don't even have a PlayStation. <laughs> he has a profile. Though. He has a profile though. Oh, it's the same same crap he uses. Yeah, I am. Yeah. Okay. Ooh. Well, I mean, if I was a PlayStation owner and I was into that, I I would just keep my name. The risk is too high uh, to be losing all my saves. But then again, there's not really. I mean, how many games do you, do you play on on PlayStation Four besides Siege and Spider Man? Uh, Red Dead, then I uh, Fortnite when I want to cross play or what else? That's pretty much the four main. Oh, well then you can do it. You can do it. Do what? You can change it. Like let's say for example, you did want to change your name. Mm-hmm. You could do it. There's not a lot of games that you play on PS4. Um, I at the moment. I mean, maybe I just Siege. Maybe just Siege. The moment I can't. No, because that's, cause that, if if he wants to change his name, he's hardcore into Siege. He can possibly lose. Yeah, all that's of what his, I'm saying. That's, like, yeah, all of his uh, DLC well, and in-game currency and all that stuff that you've gotten. I, I, like, you I don't know because there are certain companies like Ubisoft. They have their own servers where they keep. Oh that yeah, same that's data, true. Just like so Epic you can just log in. Yeah, exactly. you can just log in. So regardless of what system I log in, mm. it's always gonna have that. So I don't think with those type of games, but It'll, games that, for example, like Spider Man and the yeah. DLC, that's mm. not like with. No one has a server. Yeah, it's just with what, or a profile specific for that. So, profiles. but I don't know. I don't. I don't. I mean, I mean because you're not concerned. You like your name. I mean, but people that but have, yeah, there's people that have there like with stupid names. But is it, is fucker, it, one yeah, all, you know, is it worth it? Is it worth <laughs> it? At the mo- like I said, right now uh, they're they're ba- it's, it's a beta, so obviously they're they're experiencing. You can't problems. transfer no. your trophies from one profile to another. No. 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 Okay. It's stuck on one profile. And, and to be honest, like the majority of. PlayStation people don't think care about trophies. It's a there's, small There's minority. actually surprisingly a lot of people, that, a lot of people that, 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 care that are, are trophy sure. hunters. I mean, I've met people on Twitch that are major trophy hunters. Because you got, they got mm-hmm. some yeah. games on there. Maybe, maybe that's that's it. But yeah, so that was one of the major changes. Um, you know, um, as a fanboy of Xbox, I'm okay. Uh, <laughs> so moving on, which is something I'm very interested in because I did not know this until uh, uh, this Friday. Um, 
that Shadow of the Tomb Raider was, um, which was released on September fourteenth, um, they got a price cut to forty dollars, and the sales were not that impressive. I did look at some of the gameplay because I don't know if you guys saw me stream uh, Tomb Raider the, the 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 one before this one. Of course they did, and it was pretty good uh, for those who saw it. I mean, the one or two people in the ghost that saw it. Um, it I liked it. This one though, I hear a lot of complaints. That's mostly a lot of puzzles. It's not a lot of enough action and slowed down way too much. So I mean, tell me a little bit more about about what's going on with this game, Elias. What happened? <laughs> what was the question? Can you please repeat the question? No, um, no. Well, basically, Shadow of the Tomb Raider came out on, like you said, in September, and then about a, a, just about over a month later, they cut the price, mostly because they wanted to uh, move more copies. Mm. But, but yeah, but why the, else? But would the you? but the early adopters were not happy about that. The people who bought it day one, uh, they're like, seriously, a month later, you guys dropped the price by t- uh, like twenty dollars. Yeah, yeah like, they could have just waited. That's a lot. We should have just waited. Month? There's yeah. what the hell is this shit? Like you don't care about your your fan base. You just you're just trying to like make this game look good. I mean, like the thing is, the game is not even bad. It's actually good. It's gotten good reviews. I mean, from what I've heard, it's it's a fun playthrough. But yeah, Maybe the series is just dying out. If anything, yeah, it's probably just dying out. But they, I mean, they try to reboot it. It was a, an exclusive on Xbox, and then they brought brought it to the other consoles. Uh, I mean, honestly, it's just them trying to keep this franchise alive. But I think it's dead. It's now. like probably who dead now, really yeah. wants to keep playing these? Type I mean, of games. I, I get and the if anything, point. It's probably... Zelda's still around, and people still play Mario. Still yeah. around. Yeah, but it, that's what I'm saying. Though people want to play those games. I think it's because they messed up. Who's really trying to play? Tomb they released Raider. so much on Tomb Raider in the past that I think they just ran out of ideas. Yeah, they probably didn't release as much as they could already. Yeah, like there's not much they can do. Uh, I mean, how the many, gameplay's pretty. How much... many tombs can you raid, bro? I mean, yeah. I mean, all they got left is this Egypt, uh, Egyptian, 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 one. Egyptian, Egyptian. Uh, uh, Egyptian one, and that's that's it. After that, I mean, I don't know where they're gonna go. I mean, so moving forward, we'll see where the franchise lies. I, I like Tomb Raider. I've always liked Tomb Raider. Uh, but I mean, I like Tomb Raider too. But uh, I mean, I'm not trying to go buy the game. I mean, I bought the the first uh, the first remake of it. The first uh, yeah, I bought that too, it. and I was. And it was okay. I beat it. I played. I you were disappointed. Like, I thought it was good. I don't good. feel like there was much as like advertising on it as yeah. it usually gets because when there is something yeah, you're right. Hype for it. But then and again, then like, like, but then again, right now this time of the year, uh, it came out in September. Yes, but in October it's heavy with new games like Assassin's Creed, Black mm-hmm. Ops, that's true. And then RD, uh, RD two, uh, Red Dead Redemption RD2. two. Mm-hmm. I mean, they were competing against big games. If anything. They could have delayed it, but they, of course they couldn't. They won't. They wouldn't do that because they already announced it. There's no point in trying to delay it. That's gonna make them look bad. It's just it's it's a tough situation with these type of yeah. games and these type of like situations of how they they're they're gonna release these things. And uh, it's, I think the yeah. consumer, the, also the consumers have changed because Tomb Raider was something that was back then. I, I think the new generation of gamers that's coming around, they're more into action oriented and i feel like the community like us our age we would go out and probably purchase tomb raider Mm -hmm. but think of someone like like diego or or jacob my nephews like they're not gonna they're not gonna buy that yeah they they want action they want gta you know and puzzles and to them is not gta so i mean at the end of the day i think that's what's occurring now with a lot of games not just this game Mm -hmm. i think the older generation we're we're moving forward with the new generation, which is nothing but action, and everything's a lot more easier. Um, so, you know, we'll see where this franchise lies. I like Tomb Raider. I hope they make a movie, because this past movie that they made was crap. Uh, but, you know, moving forward, hopefully they get, go ahead and get something good. So, moving on, moving on, moving on. All right, so let's jump into sports. Da, 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 da. Whatever, whatever, whatever. Da, da, so, guys, da, 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 da. a lot of things happened this week. What happened? Mm-hmm. So, um... One of the main issues that happened in the NBA, which I was watching, woo, um, and it happened on uh, ESPN. It was uh, the Rockets versus the Lakers, all right? And so the Lakers are home, and the Rockets are like up by one. Um, It's a pretty tight, close game. And uh, as we know, Rondo and Chris Paul don't have have a lot of um, love for each other or like. 
or anything. Anything, Because um, yeah. back then, in like around 2010, 2009, uh, Rondo was with uh, the Big Three, which is KG, um, Ray Allen, and of course, Paul Pierce. And he started talking shit about Chris Paul. And Chris Paul's like, bruh, you can't talk shit when you're with Hall of Fame players. And that's the only reason why you want a championship. Because if it was you by yourself, you'd be trash. And of course, we know that is word the case. Word. It's true. And essentially, Rondo started getting into a fight. And then all this other crap started happening. But they never did shit about it. They would just talk a lot. All right? So, case in point to was, I think, I believe this is past Saturday or whatever. Right after the, our podcast. Um, yeah, it was right after. He was editing the podcast when it happened. Yeah. Oh, so, yeah, you were watching it, and I was doing yeah. homework. So, um, <laughs> like, uh, 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 you know the Lakers, like, they're trash. Uh, they, they can't score. All they can do is score in the paint. They can't shoot no threes. So they were getting frustrated because James Harden's driving to the paint, you know, do whopping them up now, man. Do I just whop. whack, 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 whack you know? Whop. And so Brandon Ingram was covering him, and he got mad and frustrated. He got his little panties in a bunch, and he pushed James Harden for nothing. And James Harden's like, hey, ref. Check this mug. And the rev goes up to Brandon Ingram and Brandon steps. And this is like the worst part. Brandon Ingram, and I don't know why Brandon Ingram was not suspended more. Brandon Ingram steps up to the ref and starts talking shit to the ref, right? While this is happening, Rondo and Chris Paul like right here. And Rondo slyly, they're having a little conversation. Rondo slyly goes and spits in Chris Paul's face, all right? It was an accident. It was no damn accident. accident. I'm going to tell, tell you like this. He claims that it was an accident. I'm going to tell you like this. The last person who spit on me. It was my cousin Ruben. I beat the shit out of that ass when he did that shit. He's he never done that do shit that, again. Folks. So it was a mistake, folks. I don't. I do not believe this type of action is. You just you. Chris Paul was like he did. He, he went and was like, "Does this motherfucker just spit on me?" And then he's like, he's like "Don't you ever motherfucker spit?" See, I wouldn't have done that. I would have gone with reports, the left. Reports were that and then I Chris Paul the right. called him a turtle. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Oh, he did call him a turtle? Yeah, he called him a turtle. <laughs> he go, you fucking turtle-looking motherfucker. <laughs> when did he say that? That's what he said. It's like during, like, did you read this? During, like, no, they, he said, yeah. He said that he, t- he called him a turtle. He called him a turtle. Yeah, anyways, I would have dropped, I would have oh, dropped oh, kicked Franklin Rondo. Looking Rondo, Rondo would have got, <laughs> you know how Ray for Austin almost whooped Rondo that one time? That's how it would have been like. It's because that's how Rondo plays. Rondo gets in your head. And like that's how he fucks with you. But you, you don't know? spit on nobody like that. He didn't spit on it. It was an accident. See, like, like, like most... sometimes you'd be talking to people and be like, hey, what's up? Nah, yeah, nah, nah. Hell to the nah. See, like, I, I understand. Oh, I understand players. Me. Me I... I'll try to beatbox real quick. Yeah. <laughs> that's how we do it in the... No, but uh, I understand players order, that try to get in other players' heads. Like Lowe's, when we play basketball, Lowe's will grab your shirt. He'll rip your shirt. Like he'll hey, try Lowe's, to. Lowe's, you aggressive. Yeah, he's dirty yeah. as fuck. He'll try to trip you, step on. Like I get that shit, but you can't, you can't spit on nobody. Like ever. Like I've never, I've never ever spit on somebody because I feel like that's like the lowest shit you could do to somebody. And that's like if I'm gonna spit on you, like we we straight fixing a fight. Like so, yeah, we gonna box. They threw hands. Like we. And like God. Rondo did get him because Chris Paul was like like this, and Rondo did hit him with that left, and it yeah. caught him. But then in that miss, and I've seen, I know you guys have seen a lot of photos. Man, Chris Paul got him right in his face. His turtle face was like his all like this. <laughs> and then Paul, he got him like two good times. Mm-hmm. Yeah, he did. Times. He did. And, then, and what pissed me off the most is like Carmelo Anthony was right there and didn't do shit. Brandon Ingram is running over here and trying to swing at That's Chris Paul. That's typical Melo. No Man, defense. And, and Carmelo... Man- <laughs> no defense. <laughs> and Carmelo oh Anthony God. did nothing. So I feel None like... None of them did anything. Why are you singularly... No one did it yet. Yeah, no one no did yeah, anything. I, I don't understand. Okay, but Carmelo was right there. And then I didn't like... I didn't like... Even though he's your homeboy, I don't like how, how LeBron went nah, up to Chris Le- Paul. LeBron's like, a little... LeBron's hugged a little, him and shit. I'm like, bro, come on. LeBron, you're playing the game. LeBron I know guy. he's your bestie and shit, but not right now. Nah. Not right now. LeBron was like, Yo, no, he was just trying to break shit up, man. Yeah, okay, but he girl? was like hugging him, like walking him to his bench. Yeah, like, he was like this. I'm like, what the Because he's like, he knew who won. So he's like, hey, man, good. You won? No, take no they were up by one. No, I mean the fight. Who won the fight? Yeah. Uh, that doesn't make no sense because he wasn't even sense. in the area. Bro, he just knows who won nah. the fight. Anyway, Brandon Ingram hey. <laughs> runs back. <laughs> it's really Ingram. Yeah. Like, yeah. Sticks Chris Paul. Like, yeah, hey. so Brandon Ingram got a uh, four game sus- No, eight game. I don't, I don't, I, I don't remember how much. It was a four game. Four game. Four game uh, suspension. Games? Rondo got three games, which he should have been suspended Rondo for Rondo only got three games? Three games. Yeah, mm. and Paul got Three two. games, and Paul... Chris Paul got too, which yeah. I don't even understand Everybody why. Everybody got off lightly then. Hell yeah. Man, wow. Madness at the wow. Palace, it was like almost the whole season. Wow. When when uh, uh, Carmelo knocked the shit out that motherfucker against the Knicks, he got 15 games. 
You mean to tell me this little turtle ass, bitch ass motherfucker got three Damn. games? Nah, I would have whooped his ass. If I was Chris Paul, I would have whooped his ass. I would have got the whole fucking season. I would have I would have broke his legs, bro. Like I would. Oh man. But you know, well, that's what happens. So, about that when they're fighting, like how yeah. long they're gonna be suspended for? No, nah, I don't think so. That's no, what I'm saying. Like that. I, I don't that's why it took so it took a while for them for the for them to stop. To, no, for or, them to for the refs and all that for the yeah. org to like uh like give them suspensions like the mm, times because they're yeah. reviewing everything. The the commissioner's the one that holds that, yeah. and I think this commissioner is too pay, player friendly. Wow. But I mean, um, you know. It is what it is. Uh, moving forward, so a lot is happening in the NFL recently, and the day, the the trading deadline is on October thirtieth. So when this comes out, it'll be right after the trade deadline. So we'll who, we'll see who's be right. It will right. Uh, it'll be right, right before. Right before. Okay, perfect. It'll be right before. Uh, so one of the things that we have to look at uh, on Thursday, the Texans beat Miami. Uh, Deshaun Watson was, of course, Five amazing. Touchdowns. Five touchdowns, um, four incompletions. Five. He had more yeah. touchdowns than incompletions. Not only that, DeAndre Hopkins, what a catch. I have been saying this. I, I, he's one of the greatest wide receivers in the NFL. That's I've always put him in the category of two and three. Well, yeah, but this Houston. catch, good God. He has to be... If it wasn't that he doesn't have speed, him compared to Andre Johnson, what oh Andre God. Johnson on, had, man. like we're not Houston Texan bandwagon. I know that. Only I know team that. We're but I mean, he's, he's, about he's better shit. than like, he's on, better man. than David <laughs> Beckham. He's better than Antonio <laughs> Brown. He's better than any wide receivers. <laughs> uh, and compared fucking, to fucking to, Dolphins had the uh, ex Texans starter playing. Come on, bro. Yeah, they had Brock Swag. No, they should have won. Dolphins the Texans should have won, but it's the way you win. I mean, because there's some teams like Dallas Cowboys was supposed to be watch the Redskins. They got their ass whooped. So I mean, it's 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 a rivalry game. It, I mean, that's always it, it depends. Be a okay, game. they were supposed to be. Uh, it's a whole bunch. They don't of teams have a good defense anyway. Okay, but it doesn't matter. It's the NFL. It's the NFL. <laughs> any, the Cleveland that Browns. It make, it's the NFL. They it's the NFL. Win. Everybody <laughs> has a chance to win. It's that's why it's called any given Sunday. The point oh is. God. The point is. Um, just, just uh, terrible. The Deshaun. The, the, the Hopkins, Sunday. With that catch. Based on the movie. That place is uh, so no, hot. And and compared to Andre Pacino, Johnson, another wide receiver Jamie that Texas Fox. had. Any man, given Sunday. I gotta give it to him. If it, how Andre it Johnson, what he had was speed. DeAndre Hopkins is not. Nobody cares, man. Let's move on. So speaking of speed, Will Fuller. Who do you think is the best wide receiver in the league? They're all average. I mean, really? Wow. I mean, honestly, it's probably OBJ. Oh my god! If he, if he ever had, if think... he ever gets a good quarterback again, uh, he's a slot receiver. He's not even outside. Nah, he, he's a good receiver. I'm he's not a good receiver. He's not, I, I don't think he's consistent. Yeah, enough. he's not. Now he had Eli in his. his prime. Yeah. And now he has Eli in his downside, but. He's not too even. inconsistent because so. he'll have Antonio, and he's a diva, which is the worst part. They're and then divas. Antonio Brown, Antonio Brown is horrible because he's so inconsistent. No, he's, he's Antonio horrible. Brown is a different situation though. He wants either more money and get the fuck out of there. I well, mean, that, I he mean, got paid though last year. How you gonna more. want out after you got paid? Look, man, I think I think DeAndre's on, had shittier yeah, quarterbacks. Yeah, move forward. De- from all this. De- De- DeAndre Hopkins <laughs> has had nine quarterbacks and eight of them have been trash, except for except for Hopkins. But um, so speaking of speed, uh, so Will Fuller's out. So the Texans have to trade Jesus for somebody. Christ, um, so that's a given. Uh, the Jacksonville Jaguars have to trade for a quarterback. You think they're gonna trade? For I a don't think they're gonna trade for a quarterback. They invested two, 18 million in Blake Who's out there? No, Kaepernick. Bl- Blake Bortles is already, <laughs> he's already on the short lease, so I mean that's already. Yeah, but they paid it, him it looks, last year, eighteen matter. million. It, it looks matter. like they're. It's, it's yeah. the NFL. Their contracts are more towards the team than the player. Yeah, they're they're gonna it's they're bad. gonna bench. They're, they're gonna bench. So Blake Bortles, so look out for a trade there. Who's the backup um, again? What's Amari that? Cooper went to the Dallas Cowboys. Mm. Uh, so what that do you will think help about out. That? Amari Cooper. Sure, he we'll was this Sunday. He wasn't. He wasn't that good with, with the Oakland Raiders. He was. He was been okay. a solid he receiver, okay. but he's, he's they still, gave him too much still, hype. They're stupid. He's still developing. They should have never let go of fucking uh. Des Bryant. Yeah. Yeah. Fuck no. They're stupid. Des Bryant is fucking garbage. No, he's no. dead. Way better than. Nah. If anything, they're, they're, they're I already love talking Des Bryant about, with the Dallas Cowboys. They're all. Tar- they're already talking about bringing Des to the yeah. uh, Texans because of Will Fuller. No, they're not. They're stupid. They're not going to bring him because Des Bryant. That's what they're talking about. Des Bryant doesn't have no speed. Des Bryant doesn't have no. They should. Yeah, they should. No, they don't. They have DeAndre Hopkins. Everything that DeAndre. Yeah, 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 but you okay. can get Des Bryant on the low. Des Bryant Fuller, Des, I saw those games last year. Des Bryant has no speed. Des Bryant has no catch rate. It doesn't he, matter. Des Bryant cannot run routes. He gets attention from the no, no. corners. Exactly. He gets attention from no, the defense. Like, no, he doesn't. Come on. That's why, I mean, honestly, that's why I feel the Cowboys at the time when they had him were good because he he always had double coverage or he always had the attention of the defense. At least the safety is always going to stay. 
Like the safety is always going to pay attention. Well, we'll see. But moving forward, um, someone has to get uh, Le'Veon Bell. I don't know mm-hmm. if the Steelers are going to trade him or not. I I think they should trade I don't him. I think so. I think they're going to be assholes and hold on. But to it's, him. that's what Let I think so too. Right. But see if, if they, but it's actually better for Lee. Right. Le- yeah, that's yeah. what I'm saying. Right he's, now, he's, either way. he's not. He's not playing because he just doesn't want to play. No, he no, wants a he wants a, a higher contract because they're but, they're but right franchise now, tagged him. But there's nothing wrong with him, right? No, there's nothing wrong. They just franchise tagged him, and he wants the money now. And he's just sitting out. He's just sitting. He's just sitting out, and he's losing money every week. He's not getting paid a fraction. You know who needs a running back? Green Bay needs a running back. If Green yeah. Bay and Le'Veon Bell with yeah, Aaron Rodgers, Green Bay's dumb. Like man, they need to go. I don't know why they haven't got him. I don't well, know why they haven't got him. They paid all that money him. to. Yeah. Uh, I don't no, know. I get it, but if you trade some draft picks, I mean, I don't get it. I don't get it's it. It's a cap salary. They can't. You know, I think they're wasting a lot of money on Aaron because right mm. now he's the um, highest paid quarterback in the league. So I mean, and and the and the Bears, they're gonna try to look for a wide receiver uh, to to help Mike Trubisky out. Um, I don't think it's Mitch, isn't it? Mitch. It's Mitch? Yes, oh, my Mitch. God. I don't know who that quarterback is, man. You're, you're going to have David Rage on yeah. you again. <laughs> <laughs> let him rage. Let him rage. <laughs> Fucking Chicago Bears. Uh, Khalil Mack was not. Actually, Oakland. Hey, but Mitch has been looking nice, though. Oakland looks like they're trying to restructure it. Yeah, so. and Oakland's. Oh, Oakland? So, yeah. So yeah the, and sure. the Giants. And the Giants. Yeah, so, Giants. Janoris yeah. Jenkins. Janoris Jenkins is available. The Texans should get Janoris Jenkins. I wonder, sure I that, wonder that, that, that uh, the former quarterback, I mean, former coach is like, see, I told y'all motherfuckers. Eli is garbage, and I just cause mm. I have to beat myself. I mean, but he, <laughs> they had they had a chance last year, but they lo- they lost it in that playoff yeah. game. Um, I mean, but it looks Sports. like from what John Gruden's doing, yeah, he's, I mean, he's, he's saying the house, he's saying one thing <laughs> and doing media. another, exactly. But we'll so. see, cause I actually like Chucky, and I trust Chucky, so we'll see what he does. If he says that. Basically, he got three not, first round picks besides the one he has. He has four, no, four first right. round picks next year. Four. Who he get those three from? He got two. Four, he four. has one for the Oakland Raiders, uh-huh. right? Yeah. And then he has a two for Khalil Mack and the one from the Dallas Cowboys for Amari Cooper. Um, four first round picks, oh, guys. This guy's trying to build four. his own team. Man. He's gonna build. He Ooh, can get a quarterback uh, or receiver, uh, a cornerback yeah. to fit. He can structure that honestly, team. Honestly, honestly, right now, Chucky has been showing me he's. He, sh- he shouldn't be in the league. I'm sorry. Man, you got to go. He had a really good see, team. You know, yeah. I'm going to tell you. All they really did is give up one player, and then you're playing like shit. Yeah. Like, yeah. Uh, well, I mean, like, look, nah, I'm, I'm going to tell you. Like, no, this ain't one, it. This no, is but ain't it, if they're not playing well this season, I don't contribute to that one That's what I'm saying. Player, it's so not the one player. It's the coach. Maybe that yeah. team wasn't as good as we all thought it was. Right, and maybe they had a good run. Well, the way I see it, this has happened in the NFL before. And it happened with Jimmy Johnson yeah. with the Dallas Cowboys, and he won three Super Bowls. Uh, so two Super Bowls. if he gets rid of Derek Carr, that, nah, that's a, I don't think he's gonna get. He already said he's not gonna get. He he bro, not. but he's been saying, uh, look what he's doing. Like I said, man, Derek Carr is coming thing? back from no, a very bad injury. Yeah, yeah, he's coming back from. A, it takes a year or two to heal. Yeah. So you think he's gonna stay with Derek Carr? I don't yeah, think I think he's gonna stay. You should. He's. You're not gonna get a better quarterback. You're not. What you gonna get? Blake Bortles? Nah, come on, man. You, Dak Prescott, well, Deacon you, you Dak. Said, nah, they on, got man. a shitload of first round picks. If nah. he find, if he sees somebody in the nah, draft, nah, nah. I, I think he might keep Derek until the off season. And once the draft takes place, and if he picks up a, a quarterback that he likes in the in the draft, but there's no quarterback. Gonna, I don't watch college, but I've heard there's no quarterback. I don't know. We'll you see. guys, I mean, there's always fucking quarterbacks, man. And if he sees somebody who he likes and drafts that person, he Derek. And, Derek's and, and the, you know who else? Player. You know who else might be trying to trade for a wide receiver? I don't think there's much wide receivers out there, but the Jets. If they get a wide receiver for that young quarterback, I think they can make some noise, man. Uh, the Jets have really good defense. Um, if they get, <laughs> Sam Darnold needs a wide receiver. I think can you guys sick. name me a Jet wide receiver? Please. And don't look it up. No, no I think Sam Darnold, a lot of his mistakes are really... Cause he's not going... He's not making the throws when he needs to. He needs a wide receiver, man. He needs a wide receiver that can blow the top off the defense. And I feel like the Jets need to do something with that. But as I said, it's a tread deadline. You don't want to mess up your team too much. Uh, right now, the number one team... Uh, well, the I guess 1A one one A and 1B would be Kansas City and the Rams. The Rams look... Loaded and a lot of their defense has been injured, and they're gonna come back in this next couple of weeks. So right. it's gonna be crazy. But uh, I'm looking forward to the NFL. I love the NFL. Yeah, I mean, I don't I'm looking think, for. I don't think there's gonna lines. be any like crazy trades, but 
I hope I'm surprised. I hope Monday night comes yeah, around it's and has, has Tuesday. Has there ever been an NFL and, crazy trade? No, NFL's never been big yeah, on trades. trades. This year, there's been a lot of weird yeah. trades. So I, I I hope it continues. I want to see trades. Yeah, man. Hell yeah, shit. Let me but see it. Moving forward to something I know nothing about, you can take over those. <laughs> um, so the World Series is going on. Uh, the Dodgers against the Red Sox. Da, 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 da. Oh. Uh, Red Sox <laughs> got out, uh, went ahead and took the two home games. Uh, the games have moved to L.A. now. Uh, oh, by the time night, you're though. watching this game, oh, it already, game? yeah. Uh, so freak, freaking game three, uh, <laughs> that just happened last night. Man, <laughs> that shit went on here. Uh, it was uh, like 12, no, 12 like Pacific one. time, oh, like uh, twelve Pacific time, but like yeah, one thirty like for us here Central Central time, like in the at night. Like I don't watch baseball. It's boring. It's um, long. The yeah, they went long. into like late games. Games. forever. They were like five hours deep. They were watching it. He was. He was watching it, oh, and I was stupid. sitting next to him when he was watching it. Yeah, I was like, was, uh, still playing? Uh, three hours yeah, yeah. and no, a half. It was, so it was more than that. It was like five, six no, hours. It was, it was like six I, hours. I can yeah. stand. I can stand thirty minutes of OT. But man, you talking about five, six games that nobody's hitting and swinging? Man, fuck that shit. It was very entertaining though. Um, so Evan OD got hit. He was the pitcher who they hit. Uh, L. A. Won the game off a of walk off. Um, oh, and they hit uh, against Evaldi, Evaldi, whatever. This guy went out there in the extra innings and just pitched a, a great that. game. That he was hard. almost flawless. Uh, I mean, you couldn't really ask anything more of him. And his teammates knew that, but uh, the L.A. managed to get a home run off of him uh, and end the game. Uh, great. L.A. needed this game. Mm-hmm. Uh, the game uh, uh, Boston now leads 2-1, and there's two more games uh, in L.A. Uh, L.A. needed that game big time. If they lost that game, it's over. So L.A. had to stick it out in front of their home squad, uh, home fans. Um, and now they got – it looks – they're in it. You know, they got that first win out of the way. Now they just need to, you know – Grind these next two games at home out. Oh, yeah, uh, grind. And, yeah, I mean, because Boston grind is just balling, great pitching, great hitting. They managed to neutralize the hitting yesterday, but who knows how long you can hold Boston down like that. Because um, with JD, they managed to strike out JD a couple of times. Uh, but, you know, JD is one of those people. You can't keep him down too long. So, uh, it's a long shot for LA, but they're at home. It's the best mm. place for them to do it. Uh, and you know they got to get it done. Otherwise, because mm-hmm. Boston, you know, will show no mercy. So, uh, very entertaining. But they are, I hear, having what low ratings. The low. Oh so. uh, yeah, this is like one of the lowest rated World Series. I mean, Cleveland Browns have more ratings. Than it's. Them. I mean, <laughs> honestly, uh, man, I'm just like. I mean, I like baseball, but I really don't want to watch Boston. I really don't want to watch LA. Yeah, like, they're they're two kind of hated teams. They're two two. Well, you know, New York's up there, too. But some of the most hated teams in the league, um, because, you know, their markets, their fans. Um, So I understand why a lot of people won't want to watch it. But, man, it's yeah, two superstar-studded teams. I I, I personally, you know, want Boston to lose uh, because they beat the (laughs) Astros. But, you know. I still don't want Dodgers to win, though. Well, uh, they haven't won anything since 1980-something. Yeah, let's keep it that way. <laughs> yeah, I wouldn't mind. Uh, I, wouldn't I don't mind understand how you like the L.A. Lakers, but you don't like the L.A. Dodgers. The Dodgers? I mean, they haven't been there that long. They've been going back and forth. I don't know. I, knew, I mean, I still remember them as the San Diego ones. I mean, let's hope baseball finishes quickly. Uh, um, very, very yeah, quickly. Well, by the end of October. Uh, but Thank yeah, uh, catch the World Series. Let us know who you think you're going to win. I, I, I'm, I'm keeping up with the game. It's pretty entertaining. Wait, and did you guys see Kawhi Leonard? Woo! Kawhi Leonard looks good with Toronto. Letting you guys know NBA is full of good storylines. Uh, so let's yeah, go but ahead. Golden State's going to win it, honestly. Yeah, let's go ahead. <laughs> uh, yeah, true story, <laughs> sadly. So, yeah, I, oh, I love how KD was like. He he scored like forty one against uh, the Knicks. Against the Knicks, he's like, man, this fucking team is garbage. Give me out, sell me out of this game. Like, oh my gosh, it was so Damn. funny. Man. Right, man, Katie's a little bitch though. <laughs> I love why, don't you, why don't you go to Sacramento and carry that team <laughs> and see if you really are legit a superstar? Ain't nobody want to go garbage. Sorry ass, ass. <laughs> sorry ass, KD had to go. Oh, let me go. I don't understand why people Let me go suck dick over here at Golden State of the Stars and win a championship. It is what it is. Nah, man. Pussy. All right, so let's uh, go to... Let's go moving forward to pop culture! So, yes, a lot of uh, interesting things here. So, what, uh, what we're going to talk about is, is... I haven't really finished it yet, but I don't. I kind of already know... I kind of oh, already uh, know the pop, 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 ending a little bit because of the, the beginning of the series. 
But uh, so we're gonna talk a little bit about Daredevil season three. Man, it's a good ass show. Yo, yeah, watch that. It's shit. a good show. It gets episode three and six. Highly recommend. Okay, it. exactly what I was gonna say. The action is on episode three and six. <laughs> <laughs> All right, <laughs> that's why like, it's your good episode. Like the cinematography, the way they shot it. Yeah, it's oh really my good. Gosh, it's like, very gritty, man. Oh. Uh, it takes a while to get that show up there. No, man. I stopped like at season two. But if oh. both of these guys are telling me that season three yeah, is just, lit, yeah, um, just like watch season, I, I watch to. seasons one and two, uh-huh. and then, then watch to, Defenders. Then go to YouTube and watch a recap of Defenders. Don't waste your time on that garbage. And then go to season three. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Um, so, because <laughs> sure. uh, that's what I do. All right, I'll do, I'll do uh, so, <laughs> essentially, uh, the one thing that I really hated about the show, it has nothing to do with the show. The show itself is great. Um, I hate Foggy. I hate okay, Foggy every with time the goddamn we passion. That Foggy, fat motherfucker Foggy. needs to die. I was, watching, I was watching Foggy closely this season because uh-huh. of what you were saying about yeah. that. I was like, I don't have a problem with him. He's annoying as fuck. Why, no, because he he's he has his convic- his convictions and like towards he has a pussy ass convictions and like because he doesn't want to go kill somebody or fight somebody. Like, yeah, he that's wants, pussy. He's a lawyer. He wants to do things the right way. He wants to do it through the justice fuck system. Fuck being a lawyer. It's a superhero mo- uh, show. No, but that has to, no play. If you wanna, no, but I mean they 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 do show a law and order. They but do. This isn't a law and order. But that's what I'm saying though. They have to have that, <laughs> no, that contrast with Daredevil. No, and the, you the can't, bad guy. You can't, you can't, you can't, but he's you can't always just bitching be, at Daredevil. You can't always oh, be like, so does he act Matt, as Why don't you do this? Man, yes, sh- that's pretty much what it is. Man, it's just stupid because conscience. Daredevil, like, no, if he doesn't have Foggy, he'll go full like killer mode. Exactly. He needs Foggy. He basically needs. You need Foggy there. Yeah, you need him there. Nah. Did Ash, why he needs did to die. Ash catch him? Have somebody holding him back from Pikachu. catching all the Pokemon? Pikachu. Pikachu. No, Pikachu Rock, was like, catch him. Misty, yeah. po- uh, Mr. Pikachu Mime. was electrifying everybody. Yeah. Okay, so Ash, if there was somebody when they were telling Ash, no, yeah, but you then can't he, catch everybody. Then no, Pikachu. Don't throw your yeah. balls. <laughs> don't don't <laughs> capture <laughs> these Pokemon. Pokemon. Hey, well, what then if, what would Pokemon be? What if it's be, the huh? other way with Pikachu, though? Like, Pikachu would have been an asshole the entire time if he was. What about Charizard? Man, let's take this. Foggy needs to fucking die. Karen nah. was another no, annoying character. Karen, Karen is annoying. Karen, Karen, like Karen is I didn't like. I didn't like that, that she had her own episode either. That was kind of stupid. Why? I don't, I don't, don't understand that. that. Why? See, this is why I don't want to watch Daredevil. Fuck. Look, Karen, she has a nice no. ass. I mean, it was naked. Does she, she get like naked? It, it was she random. She wears a little shirt skirts. It, it was random of, as to like how it started for the her episode, but I was just like, I really, I really didn't need an entire episode. Just give me flashbacks. Look, man, she's just hot. She hot. I, that's why they get no, no like lingerie, nothing like that. No comment. Okay. I don't want to get what into spoilers. Uh, well, I'll they just, I'll just go back and watch True Blood. Spoilers. I'll just go back and watch True Blood. Anyway, the point <laughs> is, <laughs> the point is, uh, uh, the, the, but everything else, Daredevil was amazing. Bullseye was really, really good. Oh yeah, Bullseye's character, like it was really, really good. I didn't yeah. like the little stupid sound effects they gave him, but it was really good. Why are you like, always hating? The stupid drone sounds. What's wrong with that? Like, oh my god! Like, oh, now he's gonna go crazy! Like, oh my god! How is that like in relation to Bullseye? I don't know, but it was. It was. I was like, I guess. Uh, Kingpin was the the actor. Yeah, Kingpin's character. He's uh, the best actor. He's the best character. Was good. (laughs) Bullseye was great. Daredevil was always on point. The other two characters were like, eh. I mean, they're secondary, anyways. But uh, except yeah. they get the one up. We'll see what what, what it, it was because they, so they kind of left though. it open. From see, my understanding, they kind of left it open. Yeah, I mean, know. yeah, for season four, it's gonna be a, a lot more. Yeah, like now, like they now, to, and then they <laughs> chest. Yeah, like, like I can't. I don't want to go too too deep because uh, I'm not, I'm not trying to do spoilers. Like but Paolo does. But yes. for yeah. season four, like Spoiler there's game. a lot that can happen. There's a lot that could. Uh, be shown. That's what I'm telling and, you. I think they're gonna go send it to Disney and Disney's and just like and now with the merger with Fox, like they can do a lot more now, like especially in the Daredevil universe. But yeah. I mean, as far as like the Disney thing, uh, Daredevil's not going anywhere. Like uh, Netflix bought like a slot of like a shit ton of shows for Daredevil, and I mean right now they're gonna be losing money too, anyways, because with um, Luke Cage being canceled and uh, what's Iron Fist. Fist. Uh, yeah, Iron Fist being canceled. Thank God. Like they they already pre <laughs> they already prepaid for those like episodes and those shots those slots of the the of the character being in the shows. Mm-hmm. So if anything, you'll probably see those characters oh, in the dare- yeah the cameos yeah. in Daredevil. That's but um, 
But they're not going to have, like, their own show or anything. No, they're not going to have their own show anymore. But if anything, they also said, like, uh, that even having, like, Iron Fist and uh, Luke Cage in the same episode, like, they had, like, a crossover episode or something for Luke Cage. Oh, yeah. What was that called? Um, Um, I don't remember. Calling. No, it was something Heroes. I forgot what it was called. um, Heroes for Hire? Yes, there we go. Heroes for Hire. There we go. That's what it was. That was the name of the episode? Yeah. Oh, um, That's what it was called when they had both of them, that, that crossover um, episode. But ah. anyways, like that episode was super duper expensive for them to do. So if they're going to do crossovers too, they have to do it on their best show, which is Daredevil. Yeah. Jessica Jones is still going to continue as well. Um, I don't know why they gotta why cut, that, cut that bitch off. Because still... I mean, right now they already they already filmed it. That's why. Oh, okay. are they looking for children? But I don't think they're still? gonna continue on no, no, no. after for the next season. I, I, honestly, I'm tired. Next Jessica season is it's still up in the air how they're gonna do it. Oh, okay. I don't know if Disney is gonna take over. Mm-hmm. I doubt it. But like, I don't like even with the new Disney like streaming service. Mm-hmm. Like, are they gonna have the same level of like? rated r no no shows no. like why was that they? gonna happen or is that all gonna that's be gonna pg-13 shit no, it's not gonna happen at all like if it's not it's, it's probably just should stay on netflix i mean i doubt it though we'll see so i don't think we'll netflix see is i mean it, it, it's a good show i hope it continues i really mm-hmm. i like this the first day it came out so we'll see uh so some other big news which i kind of i kind of very like because you know um my hero academia Woo! is coming out with the live action movie you get your own movie. I get your own movie, guys. And obviously, it's hard. No, <laughs> no, but they did Full Metal Alchemist. That was horrible. They did Bleach. That was horrible. Yeah, this movie might not be good. Yeah, like, did, I'm just gonna be they honest. Did it's Death probably Note. not gonna. Oh my god, did Death, Death Note actually accurately followed uh, the anime. Okay. You know. Well, I mean, <laughs> it, it was pretty good though. I, 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 I don't. <sighs> I don't know what the yeah. hell they're gonna do with this crap. I go catch some Pokemon. I, oh, okay. Yeah. Uh, um, the P Pokemon. And uh, <laughs> yeah, uh, as far as the live action version of My Hero Academia, I, that sounds like a terrible idea. Yep. If yeah. it's not, if it's not handled by like either a big studio that's mm-hmm. actually trying to make, and some it's money, not a big studio, or no. or by a, a creative person, a director, a writer that's be, well known, bus, that is honestly, known for like having a, either a good story <laughs> written or a good direction in the storytelling of the way it's filmed. Yeah. Like if it's not any of those things and the people tied to it are just like kind of nobody's no offense. Yeah. Yeah. I'm probably going to just not. I don't want it to ruin it. my yeah. vision that I have. I know. I, I kind of like my vision of I'll just keep I watching the anime. I mean, even even the live action version of uh, Attack on Titan was fucked. Oh, it was so bad. It was so bad. It was I didn't so even watch bad. that because it, no, like, it was No, I think bad. as long as they do the casting well, regardless if they do a reimagining of the, of the, of the seasons or if they just do another side story like the mm-hmm. animated movie did, um, mm-hmm. I think as long as they cast well. Um, now, granted, these are Japanese. <laughs> what, like, are tra- what are you trying to say? I don't know. I'm saying... I'm trying to say they fucked up Attack on Titan? No, I'm saying maybe they should go with Japanese actors. I don't well, know. It's in Japan. I'm not a fucking it's in Japan. producer. Yeah, it's in Japan. We'll see. We'll so, see. We'll see. We'll see. But uh, hopefully, uh, it's not a letdown. Yeah. But uh, so something I else. I mean, that- even though even though the Full Metal Alchemist was supposed to be supposed to be said in Germany, all these people, all the actors are Japanese. Oh yeah, that's true. Like, with blonde, with blonde wig. Like, <laughs> like, <laughs> yeah, that's man. dumb. Like, be authentic <laughs> as you can. Um, I don't know. I'm I, pretty I, sure they can find someone in German. Who, I, I don't know. We'll see. Nah. But anyways, we'll see. But uh, so something else happened as well uh, during this week. Uh, Drake co-owns a hundred thieves, which I'm assuming is a it's a gamer group. It's an esports it's organization. It's an esports, yeah. Uh, hundred thieves is uh was created by uh X Optic, now just hundred thieves. Nate shot Matthew Nate Haig. Shot. Uh, he was pretty much like when he was competing, he was pretty much the poster boy for esports, especially in COD. Mm-hmm. He was huge. He had sponsorships with Red Bull. He Sports had everything. he had sponsorships everything. with everyone. Yeah. Elgato, Astro. Like, yeah. like this. Esports, this like everybody knows who Nate Shot is. Like I Nate don't. Shot was huge in terms of like like helping the the esports organization for Call of Duty being more mm-hmm. recognized. Yeah. And then eventually he retired. He says he was gonna come back, but that, I, that's no, doubtful. That's not, that's not. <laughs> uh, but now that he 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 created his own org, Hundred Thieves. Um, he grew it 
to like to the level where he had uh sponsorships from the the owner of the Cleveland Cavaliers uh, uh sponsorships from uh Rocket Mortgage and they actually got him a house for the teams. Oh yeah. What the crazy. hell? Yeah. And then and then it just continued to grow to the point now where he has Drake and uh, yeah, Drake now and Scooter, it. the manager for Justin so Bieber. Yeah, the talent manager. Uh, the talent manager for Justin Bieber, mm-hmm. like now co-owning with him. Like yep. they invested all this money into this org. And from this, this is just probably just the beginning of like this level of of having um like huge uh more this is more a mainstream point. uh this is a like turning point for uh, recognition of the for esports. esports yeah, yeah. for esports i mean mike michael jordan's uh uh company i forgot the name of it uh also like jumped into this and they're also uh, uh, co-owners with some other organization i forgot the name though uh i think it's like you see all these like big artists it's like how post malone now partnered uh, with uh, hyper x yeah i mean it's just if anything it's just I don't know. Maybe it's just the new way, like people just hopping on the bandwagon, or maybe this is really something. Or maybe it was like good. ever since like Ninja streamed with the Drake played and with Drake Travis, and oh, Travis man, Scott. But, I'm pre- but Drake and Ninja, like Ninja was talking shit about Drake though. Oh really? Yeah. Like afterwards, he's like, he just used me for the for the cloud. I'm like, I, I don't think Drake well, needs well, for the cloud. Yeah, I was gonna say, I don't think Drake really needs to do that yeah, I don't, that's it's weird. drake yeah because ninja ninja had a stream with drake travis scott and uh yeah. what's the name juju what no it? yeah juju uh, yeah, Shum, from the pittsburgh like, Steelers. Yeah, yeah the wide receiver yeah but anyways um yeah so him like doing this with nate shot with 100 thieves this is this is huge like this could bring <laughs> more money to esports, esports and more eyes basically more people watching so yeah yeah Bigger audience for mm-hmm. for esports now. I'll follow 100 threes on. on <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Man, I need to get with them. It's gonna house. change. I think, <laughs> yeah, I think it's really gonna change though the whole thing for the whole game for esports. I mean, there, there's been, there's also been. I mean, just in, to- in terms of esports, there's also been talk of dropping the e because. Oh they, yeah, that's right. Because they they don't they, they don't, don't want to be like a niche thing. They want to be like you know. I sports. think they should keep the E. But the, I, Honestly, I, I, for me, yeah, they should just keep it. Yeah, because they're not sports. There's there's no point in dropping it yeah. because it's been esports. I think it should just. If stay anything, they should just keep the esports and just grow it into their own thing. Yeah, like, exactly. Like what they've yeah. been doing so far. Exactly. And it so. should I agree with that. That, that I agree. I think it'll be fine like that. So, so something else exciting coming up that might come out this year. I don't know if it's gonna come out by the end of this year. More than likely, we're yeah. probably gonna see it. Yeah, Ke- uh, Kevin Feige, the the guy who's like managing all the the Marvel movies, he's confirmed that. Sometime this year, before the end of the year, we're gonna get an Avengers Four trailer, Woo! and that's gonna be pretty exciting. And Venom is gonna appear. On oh Spider-Man. man! Venom. Speaking of Avengers Four, I told Lowe's yesterday there was like a, uh, what is it called? A leaked image of Avengers really? Four. Oh man, you're gonna love it. What? Why? What? I'll tell you after the show. <gasps> nah, tell me right now. Let's nah, I don't want to spoil it. Nah, let them, let's spoil it, man. Spoil that no. motherfucker. You're gonna love spoil it. King tell him. Here. No. Yeah, Should I tell him? Tell him. Yeah, tell oh him. Tell him. He's not gonna like it. <laughs> oh my god! Well, spoiler alert. This is. Can you put like a little? <laughs> yeah. Spoiler <laughs> for Avengers Four. If you do not want to know, I mean, this it's... is just rumor to be honest. But it's rumored. But still, hopefully, it's, it's not it's true. Possible spoiler. Because Elias says if I'm gonna love it, that means I'm gonna hate it. Mm. So there is a picture mm. circulating uh-huh. of a certain character, Spider Man, with a certain suit on. Spider Man. With Venom. It was an Iron Man suit, but it was on Miss Potts. No! <laughs> no! <laughs> no! 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 Really? Yeah. No! 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 Come on, yeah. man! Stop bringing this stupid political bullshit! Oh hell! To the oh hell! Stop bringing this political bullshit Yo. into my fucking! Oh my god! That's crazy. Pepper. Pepper. The new Pepper. Iron Man. Iron Woman. It's Iron, Iron Woman. Woman. That's going to be my next outfit. <laughs> <laughs> you are so fucking lame. Iron Woman. Dude, that's stop crazy. Bringing, stop bringing oh, in damn. stupid Whoa, political that? bullshit. Nope. Oh, that's oh, from the game. Yeah. But anyway, uh, so, oh, God damn, it just killed my whole fucking Spoilers movie. over. Spoilers over. So anyways, yeah, Kevin Feige confirmed that there will be an Avengers 4 trailer sometime before the end of the year. But he also said... Fucking Guardians of the Galaxy 3 is on hold. I don't blame him. Too much controversy going on, I'll hold off on it. 
Yeah, it's the right thing. It's the I right mean, call. It's the right I, call. Giving anything, it more it, time means getting the movie right and getting I mean, every, all the shit in I order. Think, I think it is. I think the problem is that they don't have a director. They still uh, don't yeah, have one. They're yeah. still looking for one. I, mean, I don't know true. what people are expecting. After all the bullshit, of course. There's no way that movie was going to release on time. Yeah. Yeah. And, and, you know, speaking of, of, of news coming out on movies, uh, so... Uh, we have been informed that Wonder Woman uh, 1984, uh, the release has been delayed. <laughs> um, the rumor is, is that it's being rewritten to set up a new uh, Batman and a new Superman. Um, new? Look, Warner Brothers, let that shit go. Yeah, Just give it to uh, somebody the, else. The, the, the DC Extended okay, Universe, um, they got a new... Um, like. Uh, manager, how, how do you call him? Like the 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 people uh, running the whole thing. But anyways, CEO, director, no. producer. Well, I don't know. I, don't know. I can't think. Right okay. But anyways, they got the new person, and now they wanna they they're trying to restructure the whole thing the way they were trying to oh do my it. God, it's <sighs> so this is like the second. Oh so now, right now they have they have uh, Aquaman Third coming out this year at the end of the year. And then next year they had they had Wonder Woman coming out in 1984, which is a sequel to their Wonder Woman movie. But now that they want to restructure everything, obviously the way the movie was set up already, it, it seemed like they had like uh, maybe a Batman cameo, maybe a Superman cameo in there, maybe to like set up plot lines for their movies and whatnot. In 1984. Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> there, supposedly there's a lot of flashbacks too. Oh, okay. But or flash forwards, I don't know. But anyways. Uh, so now that they're having this whole restructuring, they, they, they're probably going to take that out. Uh, flash flashpoint movie is probably going to change a little bit. Uh, so now they're going to re, uh, reshoot it, uh, probably do some rewrites and just replan the whole thing as far as like continuing they, their universe. They fucked up making Batman old. That was a stupid decision. I, and they fucked up making Ben Affleck Batman. They fucked up. I, and I, I said think, it from, I said it from I day they, one. I think they fucked up one. with the old Batman, but I, I, I don't think... I mean, not the old Batman, but they, they fucked up with uh, Ben Affleck as Batman. I mean, Ben Affleck is a good actor, was a good actor. Nowadays, it's kind of like, uh... But as far as his character, um, uh, for what they were trying to do, I mean, they had to go with that Batman. I mean, it has to be the older one. I mean, it didn't have to be the Dark Knight one, but it just had to be the older one. They just need to make Batman, man, and just know. and get like the right people. I'm tired of I'm tired of people messing up DC, man. DC has such a good um, character. Yeah, probably the superhero, the most known characters, and like you're I mean, fucking it, it up history wise. It's, it's supposedly it's a lot of the hand from. From Warner Brothers putting their dipping their hands in there. Yeah, exactly. And in I, there and telling them, oh no, you yeah, can't do this. Oh, exactly. Because Ben this. Affleck, oh, you have to have this. He was, oh, you got to do this. He was writing a, yeah. a, a, uh, a script movie. for Batman. Mm-hmm. Then he something happened where they told him he had to rewrite it. So mm-hmm. he was rewriting it and then he just kind of dropped out. Yeah. So I feel, look, man, I, I can't say it's Ben Affleck because Ben Affleck was only kind of messing with the Batman crap. Mm-hmm. The fact that all these problems are not associated with just. But all of the arcs, all the characters, all the movies, mm-hmm. uh, you know, freaking Suicide Squad, freaking oh, the Joker. Awful. Awful. Uh, it, it, it's telling me it's not Ben Affleck and him and then Bat. It's it's the fa- it's whoever yeah. these yeah, fucking right. execs are. Well, that's what I'm yeah. saying. Warner Brothers needs to sell the rights to somebody else. I mean, so I'd rather... Disney. I, I, Disney. <laughs> Expanded no, DC, I like, I like Marvel, Marvel I like, Universe. Oh I, like, I like DC being a little bit more bloody. Um, I mean, D- DC has always been a little bit darker, anyway. Yeah, it has. So, they have, because their characters are more like, I mean, they're more eccentric as in like their abilities and whatnot. But wasn't there ever um like a comic where they combined? Mm-hmm. It was like a yeah. crossover with Marvel and DC. Yeah, they had a crossover. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So Disney no buys DC. DC. No, and it's not. I don't think that's gonna You know what? That, one of my, that comic where the crossover were Marvel versus DC was amazing because they mixed Wolverine, which is my favorite superhero of Marvel, with my favorite superhero in DC of Batman. So they had dark. Come on. That was badass. Come on, that's money. <laughs> Look, Disney I mean, that does that is DC. money, actually. Like, does that that badass. Starts money. a DC universe, then does a Marvel crossover, Marvel crossover DC movie. Come on, well, you're not gonna pay, and they and they double the ticket prices. You're not gonna go pay Fuck for that no. shit. <laughs> yeah. I'll pay. I'll pay twenty four dollars to go watch that hey, shit. Hey, look, man. But yeah, 
So that's essentially the news that's been happening with Wonder Woman. DC, I don't know where they're going. Yeah, we talk yeah. about it every 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 week. DC's on uh, fucking yeah. shit up. Warner Brothers fucking shit up. I mean, so guys, for, but oh. for me though, like the the Superman movies were actually pretty good. Though. No, they weren't. They were like boring. Them. They were boring. No. Yeah, they, they, I were, thought, I thought they were boring. They were, I thought it was they okay. were all right. Like they it. were boring. I mean, boring. Like, I still liked it. I, I mean, like but, but it's I mean, Superman. He's, he's Superman, though. He's a yeah. good actor for Superman. Yeah, I, yeah, I like him. But it was just the writers, the directors. Yeah, it was just like, meh. The producers. It was good. It was uh, meh. 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 It was good. Meh. I liked him. Meh. I'm disappointed that he's not going to be Superman anymore. Because I, I do. Yeah. We don't know yet. It's a rumor. It's oh, a rumor. Yeah. It's a rumor. Oh, yeah, you're right. It's you're not right. confirmed. Pay the not man. confirmed. Pay the man. Uh, hey, look, man. But he is... My Superman, like uh, a lot of people's, yeah. is that uh, what's that guy? Um, the old school Superman, and a lot of people grew up with that Superman, uh, uh, Christopher Reed. Reed. Yes, yes. yeah. So that's their R.I.P. R.I.P. You know what I mean? And that's their generation. Mine Superman has been, you know, this fool. So. I mean, they recast Spider Man three times. <laughs> that's yeah, true. That's and they true. can recast Spider Man. Yeah, they and they got the first one that. right, and they got the third one right. Yeah. That middle guy, <laughs> you didn't like him? Was just Andrew Garfield. Not, I, liked him. I liked him. I like I Andrew him. Garfield. I think what happened well, Emma, Tom, s- Emma Emma Stone and him, you know, yeah, they were smashing. They broke up. I think yeah, no, but she Emma died in good. the second one though. Yeah. Emma was hot. Hey, look, man, I'm excited for what's gonna happen in Thanksgiving, and because uh, uh, we're already almost in November, I'm excited for what's gonna happen all November and all December. We should do a podcast from the house. Yeah, from the from the Thanksgiving house. Yeah, uh, huh? Thanksgiving show. What's going on in in November? Thanksgiving? No, I'm talking about in games and all that. Uh, November uh, releases. That's a good question. Well, I'm gonna beat Red Dead Redemption two. Yeah. And then why I, would anybody release anything on the yeah. Yeah, I don't even. Well, you don't want to play the online though. That comes. Out I, will pl- I will play. I will play online. online we'll yes. Play online. It looks. Me it looks badass. Gonna online, I'm gonna play online. We're gonna have. Oh yeah, Twitch is gonna be like. My homeboy's already Twitch. telling me on Xbox that he's gonna play with me squad online. Squad streams. Now he he has a squad already, so. Oh yes, and they're in 2019. Twitch is yeah, releasing January. the uh, squad streams where we can all stream. We can all stream at once, like, instead all together, of instead one of a, having like one person. Yeah, stream, we can all each of our together. individual streams will be on screen. Yeah. Oh, and guess what? On February 22nd, Anthem comes out. Woo-hoo! Yes. Oh, uh, that that day. It's like filled with games. I know. I'm so that and in January, yes, and in January, oh, Resident Evil Two, like the remake comes death. out. Yeah, and then they pushed back Days Gone because of that. Yeah, I they think pushed it, was it back. Anthem. Oh yeah, that's right. They Days Gone got pushed. Gone. Hey, look, man, I'm so excited for what's coming out. Um, uh, I, I can't wait. Thank you guys for for watching us, liking, subscribing us. Uh, Let us know what you're excited. Yeah, what's what coming you're excited out. about? What you guys want? Super Smash Brothers discuss. December. Yeah, Super, Super Smash, Smash Brothers December. Brothers is coming I mean, out. there's so much oh that, that we can cover. So please let us know. Uh, let us know who you thought was the better costume. My vote is on M. Me. Um, I thought that was a badass representation of my hero academia. Yeah. Uh, so yeah. Come on. Thank you so vote much. Uh, work hard. Work hard work and keep hard. watching us. Don't forget to subscribe Peace. to us. Follow us on all social Deuces. media. Follow us on Twitch and everything. Hit the Woo! bell. Thank you guys. Yay. <laughs> Rich gang. Oh Rich gang. I don't think he can breathe.